Hi, my name is Coco. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And if you're new here, uh, this channel is about healthy lifestyle and everything that comes with it. Today, I'm finally revealing our home gym. So keep watching.
So before we start, I want you guys to tell me what you think is my very favorite thing in this whole room. Okay? I'm going to start with the treadmill. This treadmill right here is for is from Nordic Track and uh, it retails for $39.99, $4,000. We pay $5,000 for it. You know, if you add um, tax, shipping, and uh, warranty. warranty, well, you heard that right, warranty. You add all of that, $5,000. Um, so we had to choose between Peloton and this one. Peloton is sleek looking, beautiful, kind of luxurious. Um, but we went for this one because my husband thought that the 40% incline was definitely um, a killer. So that's why we went for this. But I do have my own opinion about this treadmill. I'm not going to say too much right now because we have a review coming up on this treadmill right here. So keep on watching. So I'm going to start, uh, I'm not going to the power rack. So the power rack is from Rogue, <laughs> obviously. And um, it didn't came with all of this stuff. So we had to buy some additional accessories. <laughs> Uh, like this, for example, that's the safety, uh, the safety spotter arms, which retails for 135. And then we have the this one for pull-ups and all of that jazz. Uh, it's called multi-grip cross member, and it retails for 182. And then we have the pulley system over here for triceps triceps and lats um so we have this this right here <coughs> we have this right here to use with the pulley and to do our tricep and lats yeah so <laughs> this right here um so the jacobs they didn't come with uh like that's kind of strange um but anyway they return uh, they retailed for 80 bucks 80 dollars <laughs> a pair so what else so what's next on the list we have plates beautiful beautiful flat plates um the first one that i was able to order was this one right here the bumper plates and um for a long time i mean until now they are still out of stock i had to hunt them to finally get them it was two weeks sleeping on my laptop every single day refreshing the page to just be able to get them so they were the first ones that i was able to get and uh, they took two months to get here um they were pretty expensive i mean they were fairly priced but all of them together pretty expensive and the flag uh flex what's the name flex plates um i, I was able to find them in stock a few days ago i would say a few weeks ago less than two weeks ago and i already have them that's kind of crazy because I had to wait two months on those and I just, I had to wait two days and just, <laughs> just a few days on this and these ones. And uh, same goes for the little, the little place right here. Those little place right here. Um, I, I ordered them and two days later I had them. Whereas these ones, I had to wait two, two months okay so what's next on the list we have um uh oh yeah the plates plates holder plates holder what what you put the place on they do not come with the uh with the rig either uh you have to 
separately purchased them. And uh, I don't remember the price for those because I, I didn't put them down. Maybe I'll put them in the description down below. Uh, so what's next? Next will be the bench. The bench is pretty expensive, but I went for it anyway because I wanted something that will be durable, that will be great quality, and that will be firm and sturdy. Isn't that what we all want? So it retails from $545, and it took literally eight weeks to get here. We've been waiting for it for eight weeks. The one that I originally wanted was the one with the app thing that you can do apps on it, but that one is $935, pretty much, pretty much $1,000. So, <laughs> oh yeah, and I also got, yeah, the, this one, um, the Metador. <laughs> The name is Metador, I think, and uh, this one was $87. We bought them for dips. Let me see if I can do some dips right here, okay? With this now in my face, of course. Ooh. Right. Woo! <laughs> okay, so I haven't done this in a while, but I'm gonna try again. And uh, well, this is something we had for, for a long time. We use it outside, not in the winter time though. This comes with the pulley system. And I also got this from Bro. An elastic band. I think I wrote the price down. It was $20. $20. This is something that I and my husband is definitely for deadlifts. Uh, I don't know how much it is anymore. I didn't write it down, but I got it from Rogue. But this is not a Rogue brand. You can get it from anywhere. And um, the <laughs> definitely forgot the name to 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 hold the plates in place on the bar there. I, I totally forgot the name. Like I know them. But now that I'm talking about them, I forgot the names. But I got the, both of them from Rose. One was $65 and another one was, uh, I think between $35 and $50. Forgot to write it down. And, uh, and this that we bought to go together with the pulley. Uh, I also forgot the price of this one. <laughs> But anyway, it will be for our back workout, obviously. Isn't this rope bar super duper beautiful? Here I go again with the super, super, super word. I'm always saying super, I don't even know why. <laughs> but the rope bar is definitely beautiful. Definitely beautiful. How it is different from other um, bars, <laughs> I don't know. I guess we will find out, you know. Uh, it was actually the first one to arrive and the very last to be unpacked. And uh, to be honest, we haven't used it yet because we have another bar there that we got for free from a, from a garage. Uh, and that's what we have been using. We painted it, it was beautiful. That's what we have been using. We haven't used this one yet. Oh yeah, I totally forgot the landmine. We also have a landmine over here. We had a landmine for our back workouts. Um, I wish I, I, had, I had the other barbell in there so I can show you what I'm talking about. You know, it's this one. <laughs> but anyway, if you know any, any, everything about gym, you know where landmine is. Um, so let me show you the, this bike right here. This bike right here is um, a gift from my dear friend, Elise. Her name is Elise, and she's the prettiest girl in the whole wide world. <laughs> so I got this from her because she got the one Peloton bike and she needed to, 
you know, to get rid of this one. And she thought about me and uh, I truly appreciate it. So obviously it looks a little bit crowded here, but it needed to be somewhere in the gym, right? Okay, let's move on to something else. Okay, so now on to the dumbbells. Um, they were very, very tricky to get. But I'm sure you know all about it if you're into building your own home gym. Dumbbells and plates are the hardest to get right now. <laughs> Among anything else, they're the hardest to get. So at first we go, I think, well, it was days of sleeping on the on my laptop and every second tracking. Well, at first we were able to get the 25, 35 and the 60. How much it was, I can't remember. But these ones were pretty pricey. I think they were one, they were $160, but I forgot the price. I really need to check. Maybe I will put the, I will put it in the comment section. I'm not sure. Yet. But so we had those for about two months. And then I was lucky enough to find more in stock one day when I was just bronzing through. I was really lucky. And I bought a whole bunch of other weights that I can handle. Clearly, I cannot handle 60 or 35. Anything above 30, obviously, is not good for me. Anything under 30, yes, it's good for me. So I went ahead and um, bought a bunch of weight under 30 uh for me and i added some 40 and 50 for my husband so all of them were <laughs> I, I think close to 700 dollars between 600 and seven 700 i'm not too sure but i think that's the price um another thing that was kind of annoying is that you need to pay 191 dollars shipping cost every time you you're trying to buy heavy stuff the thing is you can't wait for everything to be in stock and order them at the same time uh you have to pretty much order whatever you want that is in stock right then and there because if you don't it will no longer be in stock and that's it. So anytime that I found something that I like that was heavy, I would place the order and that was pretty much $200 every single time. Uh, and then you have to wait for, uh, wait for another time that another, uh, for other items to be in stock and to, to buy them again and then buy, uh, and then pay for shipping once again. So it was a whole mess, but, at least we have all the weights that we need. So we have the, what's the name again? We, we got the dicks. Uh, we got the, we got the dumbbell rack. That's it, right? <laughs> we got the dumbbell rack uh, from Dick's Sport is good. And uh, it's from Macy's. That's the brand name. Um, so obviously, I mean, it was, oh no, wait, 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 wait. We got the dumbbell rack from Dick Spartan's Goods and uh, it retailed for $136, I think. I'm not too sure though. Um, and the brand name is Macy's, I think. Uh, Marcy's, okay. My, my cameraman is correcting me. It's Marcy's. Um, Obviously, we couldn't put all of our dumbbells on it, but the one from Rogue was so crazily expensive. But I think in the future, I might go for it because um, Rogue's, uh, Rogue's dumbbell rack can actually take not only dumbbells, but things like, like this. Like the, what's the name again? The kettlebell. You know, they have like this flat top that you can put balls and kettlebells on. And we also got this from, this from uh, Dicks. That's um, a ball. <laughs> That's a ball. I guess you don't know what a ball looks like. 
that's a freaking ball okay 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 so okay so that's it for the dumbbells a total nightmare to have a total nightmare total nightmare to have but i can't believe we actually have all of the dumbbells that we need my advice to you is to sleep on your laptop and keep refreshing that page every single minute not even hour every single minute keep refreshing that's the that's the way i was able to get most of these things that you see here and yeah, because everything is out of stock that's 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 what we have to deal with during these times okay so what are we going to next so we we'll recognize this guy right here okay this is um clearly a post-up moment ali um well let me tell you the story about this poster right here uh i wanted something like some type of graffiti uh, some type of drawing in the room apart the the other one that i'm going to show you in a while uh, that I already shown depends on how I'm going to edit this video <laughs> but anyway this right here took me a whole month to figure out at some point me and my husband we knew that we wanted Mohammed Ali's uh, poster in the gym um, I love this quote it spoke so much to me I know that in life everything that is uh, worth having is a whole lot of fight to get and you might not love you know fighting to get somewhere but you do keep on going just to get there so anyway the quote definitely spoke to me and I wanted this image and the quote and I couldn't find it anywhere it was okay if I could find a stock picture buy it print it out but the thing is, I couldn't find any stock picture of this right here. I could find some stock pictures of Muhammad Ali, but they were either not the picture that I wanted or not the color that I wanted or not with the quote that I wanted. And this picture right here was on the internet with a very, with very, very, very low resolution. So I needed to find a way to have it in high resolution so I can print it out. The whole thing took me about four weeks, four weeks to figure out. And then, thank God I did figure it out, thanks to Photoshop and YouTube. And uh, I printed it out and this is exactly what I wanted, what I had in my, uh, in my head. So, uh, after bringing it, bringing it up into high resolution, um, I was able to print it out for $200 and the framing of it, of the canvas, cost me, cost us $300. So this whole picture right here was $500. Was it worth it? Well, you tell me in the comment section below. I think it is. Okay, but it is so beautiful, so powerful, incredible. I love it. So yeah, let's move on to something else, shall we? So right now I'm standing to one of my favorite things in this room. And this is this angry, screaming gorilla head. Um, well, there's a story behind it. Um, at first, I wanted to get a projector, project the image on here and uh, draw draw the image on the wall because i used to draw as a child i was really good at it but i haven't done that in forever and i'm nowhere near good at drawing anymore but uh i couldn't get a projector because my husband was like no we've spent enough money so i had to make my own projector went on youtube did some diy uh, projector thing and then i started drawing um the borders but then when i go here the light i had some light in the in the in my homemade projector it was it was blinding this whole wall 
and I couldn't draw anything. Uh, so I was stuck and uh, I couldn't go any further. I was so frustrated. I closed myself in this room that whole day. Yeah, that was my daughter. I did shh, 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 keep on. So, um, at some point I needed to give it up and uh, just draw this thing myself. <laughs> it was not easy, uh, but finally I did draw it myself this whole section and uh, it turned out pretty good. I was super proud of it, um, super duper proud. The moment you get in this room, uh, this is the first thing that you see and it looks just majestic, powerful and whatever. I love, love, love it. So that's the story behind it. I was almost not able to finish it, but I did. Um, and um, yeah, <laughs> it's amazing. So these are some of the other things that I have uh, in this room. I have uh, a deadly bar jack that retail for pretty much $63. I have a clock from Amazon that retails for $40. TRS bar from Dick's Sporting Goods that retails for $40, I think. Um, I have some lights, you know, the lights are from Home Depot and they were $80 each. We have a bowl sound system, the Mojo and the sound bar that we bought from Best Buy for $800. Um, what else? We also have, uh, we bought some uh, exercising mats from Rep Fitness for $20 and um, a plyo box uh, from Rep Fitness as well for I think $110. <laughs> so we have more items coming. Uh, we should get them next week or this week. Oh, by the way, if you see some images and they change later, that means that after recording this, we got more deliveries and I decided to incorporate those videos into this one, okay? So we got more things that will be delivered later on this week. And uh, some of them are some more rope bands, elastic bands. Um, we also have some gym gymnastic rings coming. Um, obviously, the foam plyo box, a bench hanger to hang the bench on, uh, and a barbell hanger that uh, that will be that may, that will make it possible to hang all of our barbells on the on the rack. Uh, what else do we have coming? I think that's it. Moving on to the floor, uh, we got the rubber mats from Tractor Supply. They were very, very hard to get. They were mostly out of stocks everywhere. We had, we had to drive to this Tractor Supply just to hear that they didn't have any stock to go to this uh, other Tractor Supply and so on. The, the point is they are very hard to get right now. So we got the four by six, right babe? Yes. <laughs> we got the four by six and they retail each for between 43 and $44. And we had about 10 of them. Uh, so it was pretty pricey, but we wanted to protect our floor, of course, uh, the best way possible. So we added some Gorilla tape uh, to, to seal them, you know, so that we don't have the breeze between them. Um, and I think it looks pretty good. Um, yeah. And so that's it for the floor. Um, what else? Uh, so the deadlift platform is something that I'm super duper proud of. It's like my baby, okay? Um, my husband let me have my way with it all the way. And this is, this whole thing is all me, 100%. Um, I went and get the plywood. I did the measurements of the place. 
I went and get the plywood. Uh, I actually went and get the the rubber mat myself. Drove 30 minutes, well, 40 minutes uh, to tractor supply. 40 minutes back, uh, and then I handled the wood myself. And when I'm talking about handling the wood, I'm talking about uh, polishing the wood and um, um, uh, applying po what, what was the name poly polyurethane polyurethane <laughs> applying polyurethane on it uh, and then I wanted to uh, transfer some image of a barbell of a or barbell or a gorilla on top of it. That was the plan, but. The, uh, that plan failed miserably and I needed to, you know, uh, fix it somehow. So I ended up uh, applying um, water acrylic painting on it. And this is what you see here. Um, I know that the design doesn't make too much sense, but somehow I love it. I keep it that way. Uh, yeah, so this wood um, is all handled by me. I, I made the whole thing and uh, I was just glad that my husband was uh, able to let me live my dream with it, you know? Uh, I think I might, I might make a video about how to build your own daily platform at some point because um, if you buy, if you decide to buy it, for example, from Rogue, it retails for uh, between $800 and $900. And this whole thing, uh, from the wool to the mat, to the nailing, and to the gluing, everything cost me roughly about $200. So between $900 and $200, I think uh, it's safe to say that I was able to save some money, okay? <laughs> so yeah, that's it for the deadlift. Uh, um deadlift platform initially we were going to have mirrors on every single wall in this gym but then we had the idea to have a youtube channel and do some workouts in here and post it so having mirrors all across all across all the walls wouldn't make too much sense because the person recording will be seeing uh, will, will, will be showing all around so we decided to just stick with those two mirrors. Um, so yeah, that's, that's it with the mirrors. Um, I think that I still want to incorporate more mirrors, but we will, we will see in the future how we're going to do that. The both sound system, let's talk about that. Um, my husband is the one who wanted a sound system in here. I didn't care at first because we have a GBL or GLB, what's the name of it? JBL. JBL. We have a JBL um, speaker, which is pretty good. But he wanted something in the gym that will make you feel like you're in a real gym, that will be really motivated. You know, that boom, 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 pow, that will get you, you know, get you super motivated, like, Arr! like be in a be in your workout for real you know so uh we went to best buy we we, we looked around there was a samsung uh, soundbar system that uh, we found at first it was pretty good right but we brought it home and he was still not satisfied um and then we went back for the bows that he heard earlier and we got that one it was much more pricier but honestly if you hear the song coming out of it it's super dope super awesome um you know i'm not going to try it out because i know that you can't really hear the sound quality but um if you want to know what it so sounds like, go to Best Buy and try, try it out. It's really amazing. It makes you feel like you are in an actual gym. Even better, like you are in a, in a club or something. It does motivate you to work out even harder. It pushes you to go even further. And that's, that's why we ended up spending so much money on it. So for the interior, let's talk about the interior. The interior, uh, at first there was a yellow thing going on in this room that I didn't like too much. And then we painted it white because we have a whole lot of white paint around 
I'm a big painter, by the way. I'm always painting. Anyway, we had a whole lot of white painting around. We painted the whole uh, room of white, and uh, my husband was like, mm, it would have been dope if it, if it was black, all the way black. And I'm like, I was like, let's change it, because I could just see in my head the black look, look so much doper, you know? And uh, he was like, nah, you know, we already painted this whole thing white. We're not going to paint it over again, okay? So <laughs> I was like, you know what, I'll do it. So I started doing it, of course, he ended up helping, and uh, we painted some of the walls black and the rest kind of gray because we had some gray left. I thought that the gray went well with the metal color. So that's why we did the black and gray. We wanted something um, dark and uh, heavy and like not dark and depressive, but dark and dope and, you know, uh, like uh, majestic you know <laughs> so that's how we ended up with this color so we painted this room actually three times three times it took a it took us a week to paint this whole place this whole place three times and uh, we are definitely happy with the end result uh, we also changed the windows um, at first I painted the blinds uh as you can see in the picture we painted the blinds uh but at the end we were like you know what let's just get other type of blinds and uh, now we have uh, the rolling the roller shades and we like it much better as for the doors um they were white initially they were white doors and uh, i was thinking about painting them uh, but I was kind of out of pen that night and I'm like, oh, I, I don't want them white. What should I do? And then I got the idea of making them look vintage. So what I did is use a little bit of black pen that I had left, mixed with some of the white that I have left, mixed with some of the gray that I have left. And this is the end result. And I freaking, freaking love it. It's dope. And I think that um, when my, I did it at night when everybody was sleeping and then uh, I think in the morning my husband saw it. What did you think when you saw it, babe? You saw it. <laughs> well, there you have it. But anyway, he woke up to it, he saw them and uh, I guess he thought it was horrible, right, babe? No, it was good. Okay, so he liked them. So that's it with the doors. Uh, and then we have this uh, this sink right here. This whole cabinets and uh, sink thing going on that we cannot ignore. Um, initially, this room was uh, uh, a living, well, it was a garage, then it became a living space that was rented out. And then it became my uh, factory where I will make soaps and lotions and then it became a storage place and now it's a gym but yeah at some point it was a living space so that's why we have the cabinets and the sink um we cannot remove it right now because it is part of the construction removing it may, it will mean that we will have to uh ask permission and modify the whole plan uh, of the house so we are leaving it like that right now um so yeah that's it for this place right here um so yeah obviously it's a very small uh, gym but it's definitely definitely enough for the both of us um i think it's a beautiful place um we, we we put something in our mind and we were able to create it both of us are creators we love to create we love to fix and this is one of those things that we had in our mind and we can just put it into reality we definitely proud of it i i i i uh, want to thank my husband especially for for all of this because um i was <laughs> i was the designer and he was the sponsor slash bank <laughs> you know everything that i had in mind 
he never said no to way he was just like okay let's do way you know he could definitely say no because at some point we were just uh spending way too much but uh he let me just go ahead with it and realize that thing that i had in my mind so i'm definitely thankful for that more than anything you know this wouldn't have been possible without him uh i made the uh, I, i bought everything in here i decided what goes where what we do with this and although he had his opinions at times he just let me run with everything and i'm super duper grateful for that you know that's 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 just amazing okay so how much everything cost um i don't know precisely but how much everything from rope cost i can be able to put a picture up here and show you guys um because we we bought so many things either from home depot to fix the room we bought so many things that i can't really tell i was keeping up with the receipts at first but i, I well I, i i no longer do that um i just know roughly how much it costs but it does cost much more than whatever i put up uh us spending so much money on this little gym is not because we have so much money to burn is more like we are investing in our health and in our future we are all about uh about healthy lifestyle uh working out like i said in my introduction video that's how me and my husband we met so this is actually really, actually natural for us due to covid um my husband doesn't feel comfy going to the gym so he wanted to have his own gym at home that's how this whole idea came about um yes we did spend some money but we hope that we spend money for quality something that will last for a long time it's more like an invest investment we are hoping that it will last for years and years to come you know after we are done using it that our kids can also use it so instead of buying some cheap products that we will need to replace two years from here we decided to buy something put the money in something that we can use for years and years and years to come and not having to keep spending money so that was the whole idea behind this thing and health is truly important for us and that's why we were able to uh, put that money aside and to invest in this thing i mean of course we could go buy purses clothes and uh, some pretty in, in, insignificant things with, with that money but yeah i think that this is the best way for us to spend the, the money and like i said before it's for our health and health has absolutely no price so that's our home gym remember in the beginning i've asked you before what's my favorite thing in this room and uh, i'm going to tell what's my least favorite thing as well let's start with my least favorite thing my least favorite thing obviously will be the cabinets and the sink Uh, I wish it wasn't there. It just doesn't really fit. It doesn't fit, really. Um, I wish it wasn't there. We would have had more space. Uh, and it just looks off, right? But hey, that's something we need to deal with. And I also wish the gym was bigger, but hey, that's the size of the garage. Um, my, let's go now to my very favorite thing. Um, well i have two favorite things in this gym the second one will be the muhammad ali canvas i think it's i just love it. it's beautiful it's dope as fuck okay uh, my very very favorite thing in this room has to be the drawing of the gorilla head i forgot to say that i did it with uh, acrylic painting 
That's how uh, I made it happen. But when you open the door to the gym from our from our house, that's the first thing you see. And it just looks at you and it screams like, nigga, are you gonna get started or what? You know? <laughs> so I love it. That's my very favorite thing uh in this uh, in this gym that was my first creation in this whole gym before we start placing things before the deliveries uh came in that was the fa the first thing so definitely my favorite thing S super proud of it uh so yeah pretty uh, the oh yeah this the third actually i have three favorite things the first one will be the gorilla head uh, and then the second one is actually the deadlift platform. The fact that I was able to, you know, make it by myself all the way, cutting things, going to Home Depot, getting things, measuring things, nailing things, gluing things, painting things, stuff like that. And it, it came out good. Yeah, this is definitely my second favorite thing. My third favorite thing will be the Mohamed. Uh, Ali poster. So pretty much all the things that are custom made. Yeah, those are my favorite things uh, in this room. So um, I, I'm not sure if I forgot something. Uh, I hope I haven't. So that's in a nutshell. That's uh, what our gym looks like. We really, really hope you like it. If you did, press on that like button. Comment down below. Tell us what you really think about it. And um, yeah, subscribe if you like what this whole channel it is, uh, is about. And um, we will see you soon. Thank you for watching. We truly appreciate it. Bye.